from Washington, D.C. <laughs> Did he tear him up on uh, ABC? Sip. Well, there is a new hashtag. Try it. It's now <laughs> trending. What happened, Sam? What happened? He, Anthony Scaramucci, Anthony 10 days in the White House, Scaramucci came up and tried to go up against Roland Martin and did not do his homework. And then he said he's going to come after Roland. Roland's like, try it. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Yeah. Exactly, guy. And it was, it, it was, he was it done. It was good TV yesterday morning. done. Oh, <laughs> When it was over, he was like, yeah, okay, all right, I'll give it to you. I said, you clearly did not watch any tape of me. <laughs> you know, it's that typical, like, uh, college all frat there, boy huh? situation where, you know, you just slide in, yeah. try to do your thing, and you don't do your homework. Uh, Roland's over there like, where do you get a load of me? Okay. <laughs> oh, I was I was just sitting there. I was like, yeah. I said, next, I said you might want to go to YouTube <laughs> to see how I do. Forget Google Had to let them know. Had to let them know. All right. All right, folks. Uh, Georgia State, I'm looking forward to being with you guys tomorrow in Atlanta for the MLK Remembrance uh, event. I told you, Tom, it used to be MLK Day, then it became MLK Weekend, then it became MLK uh, next, uh, Week. Now next month. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's literally uh, it's gonna be the MLK quarter. That's okay. what it's gonna be. So. Okay, okay. But I, but I appreciate it. Well, it was a it was a ice storm last time, so we got uh, uh, pushed back. So looking forward to being in Georgia State tomorrow. All right, folks. Friday. All of D.C. was just, they were not talking about State of the Union. They were not talking about the Super Bowl. They were talking about uh, House Intelligence Committee Chair Oxymoron, Devin, <laughs> News, Devin Nunes, releasing this memo, oh, hashtag release the memo, that was just going, going to tear down the FBI and the Department of Justice and show how they are just against Trump and how they did everything in their power to be against him during the election and help Hillary Clinton. Okay. <laughs> so he releases this four-page memo that is the biggest dud since <laughs> Anthony Scaramucci <laughs> served in the White House for 11 years. <laughs> Democrats said they should have never released this, this memo. They said that it was, it was cheap. It was in cahoots with the White House. So let's talk to a member of the House Intelligence Committee, uh, Alabama Congresswoman Terry Sewell. Congresswoman, um, this I thought this dude was supposed to recuse himself because of his previous shady dealings with the White House, but clearly he didn't. Agreed. Listen, Roland, uh, I have to tell you, having sat on the House Intelligence Committee for the last four years, you know, you would think that we would check partisanship at the door. This is about national security and classified information. But it's clear that our chairman, supported by the House uh, Speaker Ryan and, and the Republican members of the House committee, publicly released a misleading allegation against the DOJ and the FBI as a shameful attempt to discredit these institutions and undermine uh, Mueller's investigation and at the same time try to give cover to this White House. It was clearly a political hit job. I'm very happy that it ended in a dud. I think everybody was more excited about hashtag release the memo than actually getting the memo. But what's really horrible is that it's mischaracterizing in so many respects. And today, our hope is that the, the minority memo that we drafted, our, that the minorities of the committee drafted, will get released uh, today. We'll vote I'm, on that today. I'm glad you mentioned uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan. He has to own this. He allowed Devin Nunes to keep his job. He is behind this. This goes to show that Republicans, and a lot of them privately will tell you they don't like Trump, this is about power. This is about holding on to power, and they don't care who they attack or who they destroy in trying to protect Trump when it comes to Russia. You're absolutely right. It's really about abuse of power. It's a terrible lapse in judgment and in leadership that Paul Ryan failed to intervene and prevent the abuse of classified information being used this way. I am uh, really hopeful that our memo will get out and at least it'll provide context and it will go line by line about the mischaracterizations that are in the majority memo. You know, I found it to be really interesting that Trey Gowdy uh, came on the talk shows this, uh, this uh, weekend and, and basically said that irrespective of the Republican memo, this investigation by Mueller should go on. It has nothing to do, the memo has nothing to do or refute um, the meeting that happened in Trump Tower, and the investigation should continue. It would be a constitutional crisis if we allow 
such um, mischaracterizations to actually lead to um, not only the denigration of the FBI, but in somehow uh, impede the uh, investigation by Mueller. Here's what is stunning. Last week, first of all, Congress voted 419 to 3 to impose additional sanctions against Russia because of election interference. The Senate voted 98 to 2. I call that a little bipartisan. Last Monday, (laughs) Trump refused to impose those sanctions, uh, and the CIA chief, who he appointed, Mike Pompeo, said last week, Russia will try to influence this year's midterm, and this man still refuses to protect this country what does that say about Donald Trump and Republicans' silence on this? The Republicans are being complicit. You're absolutely right. It's outrageous that we have a veto-proof, um, uh, 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 mem- uh, actually a, a veto-proof resolution to sanction Russia that this president is totally ignoring. And I have to tell you, not only did, uh, did, did, did Pompeo say that it will do it again, 17 agencies came out and said that Russia interfered in our election, and they will do it again. What we are charged with in the House Intelligence Committee is to figure out how this happened, get to the bottom of it, and most importantly, figure out ways that we can prevent it from happening again. And all that this memo is doing is causing distractions away from what we really should be working on, which is preventing Russia from interfering in our elections in the future. Can you talk about, can you quickly explain to people, Congresswoman, the path that your uh, memo will take uh, after today or as of this morning? Sure. So the majority issued their memo um, or voted to issue their memo publicly last Monday. And what happens is this Monday we'll have an opportunity to vote on whether or not the minority memo will get released. Uh, The president, if we vote in favor of it, which I'm hoping, given the fact that so many of the Republicans on the talk shows this Sunday said that that in the in the interest of true transparency, the minority memo should be released as well. There will be a vote in the committee today. And that vote, uh, if it's positive, will go to the White House for a five day review. The president will be given five days uh, to uh, reject or accept uh, the committee's recommendation. Uh, We're hoping that he will accept, uh, given the pressure that's being put on on the Republicans, and then it will be released to the public. But here's the the problem. Republicans have have 11 to 10 advantage. Right. Uh, And so if they if they vote no on releasing the Democratic memo, that means it never doesn't get released. Right. That's exactly right. They do have the votes to vote. No. Uh, But I think that there's going to be an extraordinary amount of pressure on the Republicans, especially those that that said in the talk shows this weekend that they want transparency and approve of releasing the minority memo. We'll be going to task, taking them to task today at five o'clock Eastern time at our committee meeting. Yeah, that's my homegirl, Tara Sewell. Yeah. All right. We appreciate it, Congresswoman. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Go get them, girl.